We're opening up 18.9 miles here on I-49 North. Over $170 million investment. State spending over $370 million to complete all of I-49 North. It'll be a nearly $700 million total investment. Today we're here to open up on nearly 19 miles. In March of next year we'll open up another 11 miles. And then finally the last segments, the last two segments will be done after that. We'll only have one mile left to go after 2015 and that'll probably be done around 2016, 2017. We've already begun construction on the next to last segment. So a great day for North Louisiana. I've said all along that I-49 North needs to be a top priority. Not only does it help North Louisiana, it helps to grow our economy, helps to bring new businesses, new folks here. It also helps South Louisiana, it helps our ports in South Louisiana to connect to markets in the middle of the country all the way up to Canada. So a very, very important day. Ever since I was in Congress, I've made this a top priority. People have talked about I-49 North for a long time. In our administration, we've provided the funding. We've said we've got to get this done. So a great day. 11 miles, uh, I'm sorry, 19 miles being open today. Another 11 miles being, op being open in March of next year. I'm just thrilled. I mean, this has been a goal of ours, and we've been working really, really hard. Just so many people. It's such a collaboration between so many people coming together with the vision, the the goal to get this done, the funding. Governor Jindal has been instrumental in getting the funding together uh, for this project, as well as legislators in the area, and just so much public involvement for I-49 North. One of the things we've done is we've invested a record $5.6 billion in our roads and infrastructure. A big part of that investment has gone to Northwest Louisiana. We're here today to open up 18.9 miles of I-49 North. That 18.9 miles goes from LA-1 to US-71. This represents a $171 million investment. We know over 10,000 drivers will use this segment of road every day, and we know those numbers are only going to grow. Let me give you just a little bit of a report card on the overall progress. There are 36 miles in the entire project of I-49 North. We're opening up nearly 19 miles today. Those are segments E through I. By spring of next year, we'll open up another 11 miles, segments A through D. By March, we will have that 11 miles open. And indeed, one of the things that will be helpful, Arkansas is going to be open up their segment by the summer of next year to connect to those northern segments. So then we'll have a total of over 30 miles done by spring of next year. Segments J and K are the last five miles. We've already started construction on segment J. We expect that to be done in the fall of 2015. That leaves only one mile left. We're letting out segment K. We're letting that out for construction in January of this upcoming year. We know that the entire project, that last mile, will be done in either 2016 or 2017. So when you look at it, nearly 19 miles open today, 11 miles next year. After that, segment J will be open the following year, and then one mile left for the following year or 2017 at the latest. Finally, we'll be able to drive across that entire road into Arkansas, into those other markets. And the entire cost of this project, $670 million. I'm proud that our administration, the state, has invested a total of $375 million, more than half of the total project cost. We told you this, we weren't going to wait on the federal government. Well, we're way ahead of the federal government. We said we can't wait for them. We've all seen the dysfunction in D.C. We said we can't wait for them to get their act in order. We're going to go ahead and spend these dollars and build this road. I want to thank your delegation. This is a combination of state surplus dollars, capital outlay dollars. This is a combination of unclaimed property fund dollars. We actually passed legislation to bond that out. I want to thank your legislators for making this a priority, working with us to provide this money. I want to thank the treasurer, John Kennedy, for working with us to provide those unclaimed property funds, and everybody else here, these local officials as well, who made this a great priority. So in a few minutes, you're going to hear from a bunch of speakers. We're going to go down here and then cut this ribbon to officially announce the opening of this nearly 19 miles, I-49 North from LA-1 to US-71. It's a great day for Northwest Louisiana. The good news is there's better news coming soon. In March 2014, we'll be back here to open up another 11 miles, and then we've just got a few miles left. And that is great news, not only for Northwest Louisiana, but the entire state. It certainly is an honor to be here today. This is such an exciting day and such an important project to the state of Louisiana. You know, it's not every day that you get to participate and have an opportunity to be a part of a project such as this, I-49 North. And Governor Jindal, he stated he made this project a commitment of his, and he, he shared that 
commitment to me. And on a personal note, I just want to say it has been a, such a pleasure working under your leadership to get this project complete. And uh, just, a, just a great, great day. And I appreciate your support in transportation and your support in I-49 North. And uh, we did it. So thank you. Um, in addition to that, I want to give thanks to our legislators, our local officials, just all the delegation. The I-49 coalition, as you know, for years they wore the I-49 pins. Apparently that worked. And uh, so uh, keep wearing those pins and we appreciate all the hard work that you did and the support that you've given us, the department, in moving this project forward. I-49 corridor has played a major role in the state of Louisiana. We all know it just from the I-49 segments that have been complete thus, this far through the state of Louisiana, and now right here in northwest Louisiana. And the governor talked about the, the economic growth, the economic opportunity. Not only does this I-49 connect Louisiana, but it connects us with the rest of the country, Arkansas, and then so on, the, the, the whole country. So just a great, great corridor for the state. And it promotes uh, economic growth and tourism. And, and I've had so many people comment that they're so excited about being able to move along this corridor. And I agree, Governor, we'll see about 10,000 cars at first, but it will increase as time goes on. This is a major corridor, and it will be used. Um, I would like to express my gratitude to my staff. They're here as well. Uh, you know, a project like this takes such collaboration from those of you uh, behind me that support the project and get the funding and have the vision and the leadership to get it moving, but it also takes the engineers, the construction workers, the flagmen on the road to get it designed, constructed, and, and all the engineering knowledge that it takes. Uh, the governor mentioned segment K, which is going to be the I-220, I-49 interchange, and y'all just wait till you see that interchange. It is going to be magnificent. Mm -hmm. So quite an engineering feat. Uh, our district administrator is here, Daryl Goza, and I'd like to recognize him and his team. Again, this just takes a lot of work and coordination. Richard Savoy, our chief engineer, is here, and also Wes Bollinger, our director of Federal Highway Administration, uh, rode up with us here today, and uh, thank you for your assistance with this project as well. Our project manager is here with us today, and he's the project manager for this whole corridor from beginning to end, and his name is Joe Umazula, and he is with us as well, too. So thank you all for being here, and Pastor Evans, again, thank you so much for allowing us to have this event here today. It's just wonderful, and I, too, want to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving and happy and safe driving on our new I-49. Thank you. As soon as we open this up today, 10,000 cars will start using it every day. We know those numbers are going to go up dramatically. You're already seeing businesses want to locate here. Regional distributional hubs and other businesses want to be here thanks to this infrastructure. Arkansas should finish their segment closest to the Louisiana border by next summer, and that's going to help tremendously. Missouri is well ahead. They're, they've already invested in their infrastructure as well. So this will really open up Shreveport and northwest Louisiana to markets all the way up to the Midwest, but ultimately all the way up to Winnipeg, all the way up to Canada. This will be tremendous. It will help a lot of companies who want to be here, expand here, and invest here. We have now basically completed all the way from LA-1 to the Arkansas state line with still some minor work to be done on the segments from US-71 up to the Arkansas state line. In addition to that, we have segment J, which is under construction now, which extends from Martin Luther King Boulevard to LA-1. And then we will be letting to construction the last remaining part of I-49 North, and that is the interchange of I-220 with I-49. We are going to break that project into phases. The first phase will be let this, December, this January, actually, January 2014, and that will extend from Martin Luther King south towards I-220. And then in April and, or May, we will be letting the second part of segment K, which is the actual I-220, I-49 interchange. 
for years, people talked about I-49 North. When we got elected, we said, we're going to make it a priority. We're not going to wait on the federal funding. The, the federal funds hadn't come. So we said, we're going to use state dollars. And so we had to use surplus dollars, capital outlay dollars, unclaimed property dollars. So I think for a lot of years, the state was waiting for the feds. We said, there's so much dysfunction in D.C. Let's just build the road. We're not going to worry about the federal government. We're not waiting for them. In the beginning, they actually built the segments up in Arkansas down first because they weren't sure that they'd get the road built otherwise. We said, let's just build the whole thing. Instead of doing it little by little, let's do all the segments at once. That's why we're opening up 19 miles now and 11 miles so quickly. We built the segment simultaneously. And really, the last last two segments are really in the uh, in the urban area of Shreveport. And that just takes a, a little bit longer because you got to move roads and utilities. Segment J will done, be done, however, by 2015. That just leaves the very last mile, 2016 or 2017, depending on construction timelines. But they've already started segment J. The good news is we're doing all of it at once, and that's why we're getting so much of it done so quickly. Interstate highways are so important to the economic viability of a state because it not only connects us as a state but also with us in the rest of the country. So to be able to complete and have I-49 all the way from South Louisiana all the way up to Canada will make an impact just as I-10 does from California over to Florida. So we're very excited about continuing our work on I-49 north, south, throughout Louisiana to get this highway complete.